We are Ublox. Reliable, smart, secure. Hello, my name is Magnus Jonsson. I work as a product manager at Ublox. Today we're going to take a look at this and how you can get started prototyping your IoT use cases. This is Explore IoT 1, a new application development platform by Ublox. We're also going to use UBXLib. That's a client host library provided as open source by Ublox to simplify the development process. The UBXLib library removes the need to know all the different AT commands that's required to communicate with the modules inside this platform. Instead, it provides a simple and clean C API that you can call directly from your application code. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's take a look at what's inside the Explorer IoT1. Inside, there are four modules. First, there is the MAX M10S. This is the GNSS module that can provide your application with positions. Then, there is the Sera R510S. This is the cellular module that connects you to the internet. It supports LTM and NB-IoT. The Explore IoT 1 kit includes a SIM card and you get a free trial subscription to the ThingStream service. ThingStream is the Ublox cl cloud service. But of course, you can replace the SIM and provide your own and connect to your preferred cloud provider. You also have the Nina W156 module. It's a Wi-Fi 4 and a Bluetooth dual, mo dual mode module, which allows you to connect to the internet and it provides a way for you to talk to external Bluetooth peripherals. Finally, there is the Nora B106. This module acts as the host MCU, but it's not only an MCU, it also supports Bluetooth low energy. So you can choose this for your Bluetooth communication as well. However, if you use UBXLib, you talk to the other modules on the device. The user application, and in our case, the example app I will show you in this video, will run on the Nora B106. So this is also where UBXLib is used. Next, you can take a look at UBXLib. You find it on GitHub. Uh, we have a UBXLib repo. Um, here is where you find the documentation, the source code, and all of that. You also have, you know, some architectural overview um, you can see what kind of hosts that we support and what type of functions we support on on different modules um, and the structure of ubxlib and and so on and so forth we if you have requests this is the place to to put in those requests and we'll take a look and prioritize and hopefully we can support what, what's coming in. Uh, we also are open for uh, if you want to contribute, of course. So head over there and take a look. Next, we'll take a look at the new examples we developed. So we head over to this address, as you can see in the video. Uh, you have a couple of examples here, like 13. Uh, you know, showing different capabilities of the Explore IoT 1 kit. Uh, today we're going to build and flash the Blink, which will just blink an LED on the, on the device. But you have other stuff as well. For example, if you want to communicate with the cloud uh, server over MQTT, you can take a look at this example. If you want to get positions from the GNSS module, you can take a look at the position example so it it gives you a good start to do whatever you know your use case is um, in this guide we have kind of two scenarios the first is the the one we're going to do today the very simple one where everything is automated through a script and assuming you have a clean computer uh, where it installs all the dependencies, it installs VS Code for development, and etc. and etc. Then you have the advanced mode. If you already have some of these dependencies installed on your device, you don't maybe want to do the script. You you can do it manually and install you know every 
every dependency uh, manually by yourself. But today we're doing it from scratch. So we head over to this page where the script is explained. So you have the explanation here is it's quite small because everything is automated. Uh, what you do is you have to click this link. Not like that, but save as. And you store this uh, script to your computer. So let's do that. So once you've downloaded the script, so you need to open a command window um, in administrator mode, simply by um, typing CMD in, in your search bar and, and press shift control enter, or you can right click on it uh, in, the, in the explorer. So what you do is you type in install Windows bat and um, and you press enter. This might take some time because some of the the files that will be downloaded are quite big. So just be patient and the script will handle it for you. Make sure you don't press with a mouse in the command window because that halts the process. And we'll just wait for a bit. Okay, we're done. So let's press the key. And the installation is complete. You can now close the admi administrator version of the command prompt and start a new normal one. Uh, there were two directories created during the installation process. It's under your home directory, and then you have explore IoT one backslash explore IoT one examples. So head over there, and then you type do vs code. This will trigger a full build, uh, and then open. Um, the main file of the Blink example, so you can start coding right away. Okay, so now, now we have um, built a project, open the project in VS Code, and it's time to flash the device. So what you need to do is you have this USB, normal USB uh, cable. Um, you have a different option as well. You have you can use a, a, a J-Link debugger or uBlocks EBK to do the flashing, and then you get the debugging options as well. But you don't get the debugging options with the USB. But this is what we do today. So just plug it in. And then you need to start the device in bootloader mode. And what you need to do is press this, this button, number one. It's kind of hard to feel when you press it, but press anyway. And then you turn the device on. So now you see it, it turned it's orange and it's in bootloader mode. Now we can flash. To um, build on flash, uh, you go to Terminal, run build task, and then you can select build and run blink. That's the, the example we want to flash. So let's do that. And we press ready. Starts to flash. Okay. Now we have blink application on the device. Once we flash, we can just remove the USB, reset the device, and we have flashed our blinking app. That's it. Now you can experiment on your own, build your own stuff, try out the other examples, have fun. Good luck. Okay, that's it. Even if you're starting from scratch and you follow this process, you'll be up and running in no time.
on GitHub here, you'll find both documentation and the source code of UBXlib. And if you want to get hold of the Explorer IT1, you can find this on DigiKey here. Until next time, bye.